Hey guys, thank you for the interest in the Avid Dust Collection. Just so I could show you real quick what your that setup comes with. It comes up with comes with four mounting bolts to mount the uh, mounting plate to the actual CNC. It comes with these two knobs that help you adjust. These are the adjustment knobs, so you can adjust the height on the CNC. It has the tower, which you mount your hose to. The hose comes through here. It has the actual dust shoe and the mounting plate. And right now I'm gonna show you how to install it on your Avid machine. I apologize for the background noise. We don't shut the machines off for anything, including doing product videos. So uh, real quick, I'm gonna show you how to mount this on there. A couple of quick things I wanna to touch on before we do that is these little bolts right here slide into the pockets that hold your dust shoe on. And they are adjustable, so if it's not tight enough, you can pull, there's a little set screw in there, you can untighten it, get it where you like it, tighten it back in. And so for mounting it, it's really simple. This plate mounts right on here, which leads me to this option. You have to have the extended gantry and the big spindle for this particular dust collection system to work. And you need to mount your spindle all the way to one side of your Z plate. So you're gonna to need to indicate in when you buy it, whether you want it mounted on the right side or the left side, depending on what side of your machine you're working from. In this case, this is the right side of the machine. That's where we mount our dust collection. So that's what you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind when you order, whether you want it right or left. They also come in six and four. Uh, four inch looks exactly the same. The holes are a little smaller, that's it. Okay, so to mount it, the plate goes on right here. There's positions for the small bolts that go on the outside. These four bolts, or the four holes on the outside is where the small bolts go. All right, then your tower comes up next. That sits right over, there's a, there's a track right here. It sits right over the top of that. And then you're gonna take your adjustment knobs. I call them the adjustment knobs because this is how you adjust the height on the machine. And tighten those in. I put one in the top corner and one down here in the bottom corner. Now typically when I'm running this, I only leave the bottom one just snug enough that it's holding tension and I can still freely move the uh, tower up and down. So I just get someplace comfortable lift it up and then usually just snug it just to where you know I can still move it but it won't fall so that tightens down and then the top one is the one I use to tighten I tighten it right down just so I don't have to loosen two um, two knobs so that tightens it down so after your towers on you take your hose that comes right through the top now you can put a hose clamp on here we don't do that we like to be able to pull this off relatively quickly that's a pretty good fit, so we have it needed to do that. And then your dust shoe locks in right there. You pull it tight, and that locks it in place. Now I can adjust the height simply by reaching back here and moving it up and down to the place I need it, and then locking it down. It's that simple. So the one thing I will mention, this is a 150 pound mag switch. It is not included in this kit. You have to order that separately, and I'll add a link below where you can get this. So that's it guys, super simple to install.